Hello everyone, Shuman Chin here and today I'm going to talk about the Snapdragon X Elite. This June 18, 2024. That's when the first batch of Snapdragon X Elite laptops are coming out. So I'm going to just talk about this review by this uh, Spanish guy who has gotten his hands on a Galaxy Brute 4 Edge a bit earlier from the Samsung website. And Unfortunately, it's not all that great news, but you guys have to hear this before you go out and get your Snapdragon Elite X laptop. So, we here we go. Almost with one hand, but not right there, okay? I'm going to... Uh, this is, a, this is a, a, an OLED display, okay, also, and it's touch. So, great addition uh, compared to, to Apple uh, uh, laptops and, and displays. And I'm going to change the, the view to the screen of the of the laptop, okay? So it's easier uh, to, to comment and, and understand uh, what we have here. The keyboard uh, has a nice uh, travel, okay? We have a fingerprint scanner right here. The trackpad is also... Uh, I mean, the build quality of all the laptop is uh, amazing. The only thing that I so this, uh, first of all, the great thing is the build quality and the display for the... Uh, the Samsung Galaxy Book Edge. Okay. It's just this bezel on the, on the inferior part of the laptop because it's too uh, with uh, too wide uh, for today's standards. But the rest of the laptop is really really amazing. Okay, so the great things, amazing build quality, and uh, what's not so amazing, we are going to get into that and in real soon. Okay, and unfortunately, that actually involves the actual whole reason why you want to buy a Snapdragon X Elite in the first place that's the artificial intelligence features right so let's listen to it so the first day I opened the laptop I charged it to 100% before starting to use it and uh, I didn't like it at all why because the laptop even if it was uh, plugged in or not it would get a, a little bit hot okay especially around this area uh, the fan uh, was uh, working all the time I was just using uh, Outlook, okay, and uh, Chrome with uh, four or five uh, tabs at the moment. This is the ARM version of Chrome, okay, and also a uh, phone link, okay, the application to, to connect to your Android uh, uh, phone, smartphone, and it was a bad experience, okay, the, the, the battery lasted for around uh, six hours, seven hours of uh, working time, so... So the battery only lasted six to seven hours which is comparable to today's intel x86 uh microprocessors so you might as well just get one of those intel processors and allow, allow you to play games whereas this snapdragon x elite ain't that great eh? so let's listen to more of the ai features i actually was talking about the battery features but obviously because of the ai uh, it could have affected the battery. They did. Uh, this guy did some updates, and it became better. But the problem still lies with the features of the AI. Uh, will will be uh, coming next. Okay, approximately in Spanish it means uh, uh, soon. Okay, it will be soon available. And uh, so the feet, the AI features are not even available. Copilot Plus is not even available. Uh, it's only available in North America, like country in Malaysia where I'm at right now. I'm definitely sure it's not going to be available here upon launch. But as you can see, no, uh, no word to find Copilot. And now it says that my, my system is ready to be used. So quite, quite disappointing. So I started to search on the internet. And then I discovered this and I am pretty disappointed to Microsoft because I was looking at uh, hey, where is where is uh, uh, recall or where is the copilot, especially copilot integrated into it. So okay. obviously, copilot recall is not available. I mean, there's plenty of news out there already speaking about why Microsoft pulled back on copilot plus uh, recall because the thing is a privacy issue, and we know that. Unfortunately, isn't that one of the major features of Copilot Plus and why you're buying a Snapdragon X Elite? And of course, he was just saying uh, the live translation is also not available. So yeah, pretty much all the cool features are not there. And uh, let's just skip right to the end here to see what he says at the end. 
uh, right here, like so 30 minutes in. Okay. Try to get the number of sooner if you want, okay? For me, uh, the build quality is amazing from Samsung. Uh, I, I don't think they are trying to build a, a high performance laptop just as, as the MacBook Air or MacBook Pro. Uh, I think they are just trying to build something similar to the MacBook Air in terms of uh, uh, thermals, battery uh, uh, battery duration, okay? Stay away from the charger, uh, great screen quality, great web quality in my opinion, and uh, good uh, average performance, uh, comparable to Intel systems, I suppose. There are already people doing uh, some benchmarks that uh, have uh, not so good uh, uh, performance compared to performance compared to what Cal Qualcomm said, but you need to have in mind that these laptops, these Copilot Plus PCs are different from its vendor. This, I believe, is the thinnest one that is being released along with the surface. So uh, I'm just going to summarize it because it's a bit too long now. Uh, so basically he's saying this particular notebook, the Snapdragon X Elite for Samsung Galaxy Book, uh, it's a bit not as powerful because it's very thin. Uh, it's not meant to play games even though it can but the benchmarks are not as claimed by the Qualcomm company on the Snapdragon X Elite. So yeah just like uh, in my previous videos you will know that uh, the person who tested it as uh, with the one of the galaxy books as well found that it's only as powerful as a single core on the uh, iphone 12 or, or rather a single core on the snapdragon x elite is only as powerful as the uh, iPhone 12 or not even as powerful so there you go just be careful if you are one of the early adopters of this new Snapdragon X TV I will encourage you guys to actually go and try it out first uh, try out the display model don't be too fast to jump onto the bandwagon because Intel Luna Lake is coming out at the end of the year and then AMD Ryzen 9 AI which is their Strix model uh, will be coming out in August already so just give it a bit of time and you have better artificial intelligence use like I said um, even the Microsoft has not even launched these AI features yet so um, what's the point right so you just have to be a bit patient so I'll end it here if you guys like this video please do give me a thumbs up subscribe and click that notifications bell this is the Kaiser Beyond a great knife for your everyday utility or for display uh, I would suggest you get it to put for display next to your AI devices. Use my discount code Sherman Chain to get 5% off. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much, guys. Take care now. Bye.